If you've been following the intersection of blockchain and AI, you've probably heard claims like AI agents will run DAOs or machine learning will optimize DeFi. But the truth is there's a contradiction here because AI is messy and adaptable and honestly kind of unpredictable. Meanwhile, blockchain is very strict, right? It's deterministic and kind of slow. So how can these two worlds really work together? Today, we're gonna look into this paradox and more importantly, into one of the few projects actually solving it which is Reactive Network. Now, before we get into it, I do wanna really quickly point out that Reactive Network is hosting a hackathon that's gonna be happening the entire month of September. There's a $50,000 prize pool that's gonna be split amongst the winners in the various different tracks. I'll talk more about it a little later in the video too, but if you are a developer or team building for any blockchain use case and you're interested in experimenting more with Reactive Smart Contracts, this is definitely something to check out. So let's break down the AI versus blockchain contradiction a little bit. There's really four core tensions here. Blockchains must produce the same result on every node, but AI models thrive on randomness and evolving behaviors. Smart contracts are permanently fixed once deployed, whereas AI algorithms continuously learn and update. Even basic ML inference can blow past on-chain gas limits. That's why most AI must run off-chain, but then you lose trust guarantees and introduce key custody risks. Finally, blockchains are open books, machine learning models are or closed boxes. How do you verify a black box's decision on chain? And here's the deal breaker. Who audits an AI agent controlling private keys? Imagine a GPT driven bot authorized to trade your funds. There's no human in the loop, no rollback. That's a security nightmare. It'd be like asking a jazz band to follow a military drill. Like something's gonna break down. This is where Reactive Network comes in. Reactive Network is an EVM compatible execution layer built for event driven automation and native cross-chain messaging. At its core are reactive smart contracts or RSCs. Basically you define triggers like price thresholds or Oracle updates, even off-chain signals from AI agents. And RSCs listen and execute automatically. No cron jobs, no external bots, no manual transaction calls. This architecture solves each one of the issues we talked about earlier. It decouples decision-making from execution because AI publishes a signal, like for example, cell 10% of this position, but it never has to hold any private keys. The gas usage is efficient because heavy ML stays off-chain, and the contract only actually processes lightweight event data. The workflow is verifiable because every AI signal is a structured on-chain event you can audit. RSCs then enforce these signals under strict guardrails, like budget caps, whitelists, execution windows, etc. And it keeps your system adaptive, yet deterministic and secure by design. By now, I'm sure all you developers are wondering, so what do these reactive smart contracts actually look like? So RSCs work on an event-driven model. Think of them like trigger-based logic flows. Instead of signing a transaction, an AI agent emits a signal, like if ETH drops below $2,000. The RSC listens for that event, and then executes predefined logic. So maybe you want to withdraw, rebalance, and alert your user. Here we can see an example of a basic RSC. You can see the logic if this event do X. Now this is fundamentally different from the usual function call in Solidity. This at on event reactive trigger subscribes to an external data stream. The contract doesn't wait for a manual call. It reacts whenever the event fires. Another important thing to note, reactive is cross-chain native, so an AI agent could monitor Ethereum and emit a signal, and an RSC on Arbitrum or BNB can react to that signal without you writing any bridge code or handling any relayer keys. So that's very, very nice. It's true decentralized interoperability with AI-driven orchestration across networks. So what exactly does all of this cool tech unlock? Some things that are now architecturally possible, thanks to all of this, are AI-driven yield optimizers that act without custody of your funds, or like a treasury management bot for DAOs that respond to on-chain sentiment shifts. There are actually a few developers already working on these use cases right now. They haven't been launched to mainnet yet, but I think it's gonna be really interesting to see how these things develop. So if this inspires you with a good idea, you should definitely check out the Reactive Hackathon. Teams are gonna be building and deploying a working project with Reactive Smart Contracts. This can be in DeFi, NFTs, infrastructure, DAOs, tooling, anything that makes sense with cross-chain automation or on-chain logic. There's a four-week building period 
period followed by two weeks of usage tracking, and then a two week assessment period where projects will be evaluated on the usage and longevity of their use case. Again, big prize pool, prizes will range from $1,000 to $5,000 per project. And in addition to the cash prizes, your project could be considered for future ecosystem grants and co-marketing. It's open to builders from any blockchain. I will put links down below with all the information on all the criteria and how to sign up. With that being said, there is so much future potential of integrating blockchain and AI using platforms like Reactive Network. Definitely, I would encourage all developers to explore this further and please do share your comments and your thoughts down below. I think the real breakthrough isn't running AI on chain, it's integrating AI with blockchains safely. Reactive Network gives us that middleware where AI decisions can influence on-chain outcomes without compromising on security and trust. If you're working on autonomous agents, cross-chain apps, or just excited by what comes next, watch this space. As always, I'm cheering you on and I'll see you in the next one.